Hello and welcome to Mini Bricks. Today on Mini Mondays, we got Mindy and Megan, and they're going to be working on their Jet Black Mini. We hope to get most of it done today, but uh, sometimes you come into mechanical difficulties, and so we'll, we'll try to get it all done today, but we can't promise. Uh, Mini Bricks is on its way. He just has a little present to drop off to Mindy. So yeah, we got our new toolbox. There's a few extra tools in there that we're gonna need. So Mini Bricks can be on his way again. I know he's looking forward to having a racing partner here. And so we will get started on that. All right, we're in the garage here and we just want to show you the instructions. Make sure that uh, if you wanted to build along, you could. So we're just uh, going to be Going to lego.com and checking out the Speed Champion set, uh, 75894, and then, yeah, if you follow along, you can just um, start building from, from the first page here, and we'll get started with that. Now, Megan's going to be doing most of the building here, but we're going to try to be as quick as possible. Um, we do have them all laid out in the order that they should be built and Now it might be a little more challenging to see these ones because they are all black and We'll probably modify some of these once we build a few um, But today we just wanted to focus on an all black mini um, as you can tell, the parts are pretty hard to see. But if you wanted to see kind of, if you're wanting to build one from a video, my first video does have quite a bit of, you know, contrast with the actual set build. So that would probably be a good video to follow along with. Now, that, that does seem to be Correct, so we will move on to step five. Now, this one we probably need, we're gonna do, we're just gonna try to build as quick as possible and try to keep things in frame. That is the goal. So we're on step six and moving on to step seven. We hope to get pretty good at this so we won't actually need instructions. Now this is, yeah, this is my only my second. Well, we built the, the first mini a few times, so. We should be getting better at this. Now this is where we have two little purple parts. Now we do have the one black part, but yeah, I couldn't find that last piece. Whenever you go to do a build, there seems to always be one piece you're missing. Well, I had the element, which didn't have the right color, so we'll have to come back and um, add the right element or like the right color, and I can get more blacks. I just didn't have time to go through everything. So that's looking pretty good. Um, we're on step eight, dropping down to nine. Now this is not a speed build per se, but I am trying to keep it going pretty fast. It is nice to have the help of Mindy and Megan. They are very helpful. Yeah, we need a few little zips. Okay, thanks. Oh, see, I got, a, I was moving too fast and didn't realize this was
supposed to be offset by one. That will start to give it a lot more strength. So we're, that should be 10. Now we got a little side build where we are going to be, I guess, building I'm going to eventually kind of make my my own recipe for these. Picking out, you know, some of the better colors, but yeah, I was kind of wanting to focus on a black interior for this one. Kind of just seeing how that it all works out. So All of these, just the way that this mini is built, it really does need all of those extra supports and architectural. Pieces so playing around with the design is going to be a little tricky to keep it strong. On to, I think. 13 so we're flipping around to the bottom and well yeah I guess we should probably do the little how's that yeah it looks like it's it's going to be like this Because those come in at the side. Now these are these are all little parts that you're going to want to be looking for. These are sometimes hard to find. Sometimes they're in abundance. In the other set, it they're gray. So we were able to find some black ones, which was which were nice. Now flipping it over. Now, just taking a note of what that part is, there is so we're going to attach this to the front. And we're going to use the black now. Ooh, we need the hook. And then the oil pan in black. And that should be 14. All right, so yeah, flipping it upside down the other way. They're wanting the four piece across the top here. It will be nice when I get this kind of memorized. I can, once I build a few of them, they're going to go together a lot more smoothly and we might actually have a coherent speed build. So yeah, I'm just making sure everything is firmly in place. We're already onto the steering wheel now. I was going to show you my selection of steering wheels, but we'll have to save that for another day. Um, it is kind of nice that I was able to find an all black steering wheel. Do have a few of them, but not too many of them. Then uh, now this one, I think this piece eventually will probably want to go with an all, like kind of a see-through clear one. But but Mindy and Megan, you know, they they decided they wanted to go with all black. 
We'll see how that works for them on the inside. And then we do actually have the black bench that they have the little black bench part. Um, we have white, brown, uh, dark brown. We have a few different colors of that, but this is the only black bench I have. So yeah, that's kind of a rare part, I guess. I don't know what sets it comes in. Now we're on 17, 18. Now these, I just kind of stacked up to make it kind of a little bit easier to put on like that. Now, the nice thing about doing your own, you can worry about the stickers later. We don't have any stickers in this one, so this is going to be the two by twos and the one by two up front. So that's the correct way. If you watched my Canada Day Mini, that's how that's supposed to be done. Kind of thought it was supposed to be done that way. Now we're on to 20 and we're going to put on the now this one I might want to stop and make sure that those are it's all lined up and I guess we're flipping it around to the other side and doing kind of the same thing so now this one we're going to be doing the two by the two by two at the back and then the one by two up front. And some of these pieces are hard to find. They're not they're not all common common pieces. So you're going to ha probably have to search high and low a little bit more than I originally anticipated. Um, I did have to order a few parts on lego.com. Now we're getting into the steering wheel column. We got the little, well, this one's supposed to be flipped around, so I'll just show that to the camera. That's the little side build, and then it kind of backs up the steering wheel. Now this is very hard to see in, in black, so definitely not for beginners to watch this one. You're going to want to watch the first video for the contrast and colors, but that is, this is, this is the Jet Black Mini, so we're going for it. Um, on to 22, okay, 23, and dropping down to 24. So we're going to start putting the wheel arches in. And once you start to dissect this mini, you start to realize that it's kind of, yeah, it has a little, it's dimensions in here are a little, a little bit off. Like it, it, you start getting a three, three tile in the front. So to do that, they had to use those jumper plates. Now we're going to be putting that little bench in the back again. That's the only black bench I have, but I guess the Jet Black Mini is the good, is probably the best, best, um, okay, so that, that's kind of, yeah, the Jet Black Mini is the best mini to put this in. Now we're going to be putting this kind of in the middle, and then we're going to be sliding it in, dropping it down. Oh, okay, we're going to be putting that little piece in there. It's not, it's not on anything, so that's. That's what makes that a little bit harder. And the bench is actually what holds that piece in there. So we're on 25 going to 26. I already stopped, snapped those little blue things in there. And we're just going to... So yeah, the thing that's holding this middle part is that bench. So. Really little bit of a tricky build. 
So we got three of those. Now this piece, I actually only have two of these, so I'm happy that I was able to have two. And I actually know I have one more. I have a three of them. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to do another black mini until I can find that part again. All right, so we're, we are on to, I guess, 27, 28. Now we have a, a little bit of a, another little side build. Now I don't know what we're building here. But it definitely helps that the instructions have different colors to highlight the different pieces and the internals of this are are colored different ways so that you can see them a little bit different and ooh, this looks like it's probably the it's probably the rear end or the the boot probably the little um, exhaust pipe then we have that part now moving on to 33 moving on to 33 and making sure that this is the right piece because there are there's two different ones that are shaped different so we'll make sure that we're shaped the right way on this and okay that looks to be the right way and then we have one little piece here that we want to put on right in the middle and then we'll put the what's supposed to be the bumper now we don't have any stickers currently to put on i don't know i might make up some stickers i haven't really done a lot of that i just buy normal stickers sometimes like for the canada day mini and yeah so then this will be going on the back of this and i don't know if that's gonna look good or not but all right that's 36 on to 37 so well wow, 37 is just this little one little cheese slope to cover up that, that gives you the little exhaust pipe, and on to 38, so they're wanting us to turn this around, and I really like the way that they were able to incorporate that, that, uh, the front end there, if you've seen the classic mini it has a very very cute little front little bonnet and then what do we got we got now these are yeah if you ever find these these are nice to pick up and if I had a mailbox I'd tell you to send them to me because <laughs> they're very I, I need more <laughs> I only have I only have well four of them now and this black mini is going to get them because you know, they're very iconic flaps that are on the mini big rubber mud flaps for the rallies I figure if they're going to be racing against mini bricks they should probably each have those so now this is for the headlights now I should have probably put these in ahead of time but I kind of want to jump ahead and just put the little lights on as well, but we'll get to that soon enough. Now we're on to 41. And we start with a 2x3. Now I'm jumping ahead to uh, customization. This is supposed to be uh, a brick or a plate, but I'm going to use a um, tile a 1x3 tile instead just to give it kind of smooth texture on the hood 
and I'll maybe try to point that out. I'm also not using stickers, but I am going to use, I'm still going to add some nice flashy white bonnet stripes. Now that isn't my design. I, I saw someone else on the internet making some bonnet stripes, stripes like that. And I I think it looks really good and it's kind of nice to have brick built. Now we actually have to put that on. And you can see how that not having the well, I'll just actually bring mini bricks over here to give a demonstration. Now I should actually I'm gonna actually have to go back and yeah make little white ones and a little black one. I, I wasn't thinking about that. So that's something I'll have to upgrade. All right, so I am back. I was able to find the parts that I was looking for. So I think most everyone kind of, you know, understands where I went wrong there. So I thought it would be easy just to put a tile in there, but you actually need three little tiles to make those stripes. So I'm just gonna do that correction right now while I have the parts. Might as well do it right the first time instead of coming back and doing it later. So that actually looks quite a bit better. Now we should be able to put this on now. I was able to put those three pieces in there and I just used one of those. You're supposed to actually have, well, three of these and put them across, but I just use that, that might actually make it stronger than the original design, not that that matters a whole lot, but I had that part readily available and I will drop that in there. Now that gives us some studs there in the front to connect things to. And that is, I think, 41. So we're on to 42, now 42, we will have to build these little light things. Now I'm going to, I do have an upgrade that, I'm gonna to try to do it the way that they say, and then I'm gonna try the upgrade. So they say to build it like that. And put the little light on, then build this little guy so that he is like this and so that is I don't even know if you can see that so okay just wait no this this would be I think they're wanting wanting that. That is what they are wanting. But I actually am going to try a new little upgrade of actually making it more rounded up in the front. And I'm going to try doing that. That might make it actually look a little better kind of gives it a little bit smoother, rounder look instead of... So yeah, I'm gonna try that. We'll see how it works. Um, yeah, Mini Bricks is the other way, so we, we have something to compare to. And I know that looks a little off with the, the one white over there, but that's all gonna get covered up. And so we're on to 43. Now 43 is a light bar that I basically already put together. So to kind of look at it to show the, the parts. So it's supposed to have all clears, but I have um, blacked these out with some covers. So they're not even translucent. They're just straight up covers. And then I put some nice yellow rally lights in the front. So. I think that's a nice little upgrade. Now the bar is supposed to be on the bottom. And how is that going to connect? Hmm. I don't think there's going to be enough room for that. 
So there should be, uh, yes, there should be this piece. This piece in the back. So this piece will be a jumper. There we go. Now that will fit. Got three studs. We can jump that in the front. Now it's coming together. I don't know, maybe those little yellow lights don't actually go. Or maybe they they do go. Maybe maybe four I think you know what? I was wanting to do something fancy with these little black guys, but and it's gonna take me a little bit of time to do this, but you know what? I can I can you know maybe some of you just totally love that and you're like what are you doing don't wreck it it looks perfect but I am going to actually put four little yellow lights I think for this one there's already enough black on this and I'm gonna so I'm gonna make those tight alright so I'm back with the little yellow guys and we can see compare now if it looks totally off I'm gonna probably switch it out but I don't know I, I kind of I first glance I kind of like having the four little yellow rally lights down there um, it might look good with the cl even the clear I don't know I'll maybe have to play around with it but we should probably keep building now we're going to be on to 44 and we're already into the now normally when people are putting this on they're normally trying to go for those studs in the front but we're already got those covered up so yeah this is going to be a lot easier just to put the roof on and off and we really get to see those bonnet stripes come to life we'll put on the really starting to take shape now now did I did I miss a piece oh I know what I did yeah these these I these were the wrong piece so yeah those those uh, pieces behind behind there is I got the wrong piece out so that that was where I made that mistake and you're bound to make mistakes when you're making a little bit of a change and modification. Um, I will switch this up so well, that's not actually connecting anywhere. That's kind of odd, but. Guess it gives it a little roll, a little roll cage, which is quite secure with that. And then, all right, on to this piece in the back. That'll actually firm a lot of that up. So that'll connect all four of that, all that together. And then this is going to be too big because we're using a different we're using a different so yeah now I'm ripping everything apart so well what am I gonna have to do Gonna maybe have to leave those guys out. It's because I have a different roof that it's not it's not all lining up the same. So we got this and we got this. And then we're gonna actually have to make some changes here all right so with modifications comes a little bit of a change of direction um, I will kind of give a little bit of a, I guess I will make a little side-by-side -side here 
and maybe bring this in a little bit closer so the original roof is a little bit more rounded you can probably tell that from looking at the two pieces which is kind of nice I think I'm probably gonna try to get some more of these roofs and but the other thing is the white one is quite a bit shorter or it's one one stud shorter and so yeah we lose the entire roof rack section in this particular build um, that's gonna change it up quite a bit uh, but we also have to modif modify this back piece instead of um, yeah putting these these L brackets um, supposed to go on that that beam we're gonna have to just kind of connect it that way and yeah there's probably not like an easy way to get this um, I mean I could probably figure it out somehow I guess we could put something up here I mean I'm trying to think how now, I am using a different roof piece and everything so what would I do I guess if I put these if I wanted to continue on I could technically keep going and I had this little snap and then now I have enough to connect it to the roof so yeah that was supposed to be my little custom roof rack I don't know it kind of maybe it's a little too much I didn't really have a lot more elastic bands to attach that and it kind of looks a little yeah it kind of looks a little off so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off and leave that off to the side so I think we're gonna just leave it nice and slick nothing on the roof and we got tires so I got four black tires now I know that putting these on I can already tell that that's probably gonna be a little too much um, yeah that's probably gonna be too much black actually I know we're going for a black blacked out mini but I kind of think the white rims are gonna make that thing pop um, kind of kind of uh, I think I'm gonna do it so this is the Canada Day little package I put together um, for an, a future upgrade to the for a Canadian Mini. I had all my parts in here, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take the tires and and we'll we can always get more tires or rims. But I think you can tell that these little white ones are gonna make this pop a lot nicer oh yeah I think that looks really nice I mean if we wanted to go all black and just remove the stripes and everything in the future we can we can always give that a try but yeah I think those black rims are gonna be would have been too much now we kind of set the set the car off a little more I think that that looks a little little bit a little nicer now the, the roof is a little little off but we'll we'll make do until we can. I actually had a lot of these these roofs, so that's kind of a disappointment because I don't know if I'm gonna just that little part right there kind of sticks out too much for for my liking. It's not smooth enough, and I think I'm gonna probably have to invest in a bunch of you know nice round roofs to finish that up they don't necessarily have to have the 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 rack on top because I can just use two of these pieces to cover up that middle section but it just gives that that cute little round roof or that more rounded roof yeah that's gonna be a little pricier and I'm gonna probably have to make a few minis this way until I can get the, the roofs but that is that is a side by side of the two minis so I think how, how are you feeling Megan and you like liking what you're seeing I think she's 
she's itching to, to, to get in there. So we'll, we'll get out of the way, let her jump in here. So now these, you gotta put everything, you gotta put the, pe the little hands up and everything. So yeah, she's, she's checking out the dials and everything. She's ready to race. And we got the roof. So yeah, I'm not gonna do a big end sequence or anything. Um, I think you've got to see all the sides and everything. So yeah, that is pretty black in the back. And it would be nice to maybe have a license plate. That might be a nice upgrade. Even if I just put a sticker over that tile, like because we do, I do have stickers. I could just take it off, a little Lego license plate, and put that on there. Um, I don't know if that would be, would that be too much to ask to do? All right, so we're back and we got the license plate installed. So I don't even know which vehicle this came uh, came off of, but we got a new license plate. We're gonna have to check that out. JC. 60002 that's nice little license plate I do have a nice little I have a, quite a few little license plates to to make sure that everyone gets registered don't want to go on the road without proper registration driver and registration or driver's license registration and I'm liking the, the yellow lights there in the front um, I'm really happy with the white. I didn't plan that, but with those white bonnet stripes, I think this this is going to yeah, this finishes it off a little nicer and results quite a bit better than uh, than uh I think the black the black would just be too much. Black rims, black car just a little too much. I mean, if we're going to go all black, we're going to probably have to take the white racing stripes off and just go like completely blacked out. But for now, I think this is probably a finished finished for now. And yeah, they can they can take off and have fun. So that'll be everything for this week. Uh, Mindy's probably gonna have to get a mini, but I don't know which color she's gonna want. But we'll we'll make her one as well. So don't feel too bad about that. We got lots of minis uh, still to be made and lot of plans of really fun cool minis to build so stay tuned for next week or yeah, I don't I can't promise I'll have them out week by week but